so you know halloween has passed us but yes, yeah. we're still in the mood here and um we're kind of we're gonna react to collider's top 50 most iconic horror villains ranked this is a great list i'll tell you that it's a it, it's a tricky list there's so many there's a lot right there's so many everybody's think, gonna have different opinions you know exactly I mean? and that's my thing it's like what scared you the most when you were little so mm. that that's gonna factor in to where you know these are ranked that is very true. I feel like nostalgia plays like a big part on people's list, mm -hmm. like for everything. So, like, just to put it in perspective, um, number fifty was The Invisible Man. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and you know, I I enjoyed that movie. That was a good movie. Um, I really did. Um, let's see here, and we're gonna jump all the way down to number thirteen, and that really caught my attention. What's number thirteen? It's, thir it's The Exorcist. The Exorcist. Yes. The I'm gonna Exorcist. be honest with you. I would put that slightly. I'd put that in the top ten. You would. In my top ten, I'd put that. I put the, the little girl from The Exorcist in the top ten. And I would too. And that's see, that's because of my childhood, our childhood. Yeah, we, yeah for you sure. Know, that used to scare the shit out of us. Scared the yeah. shit. Yeah. My mom always used Fuck to me, say, man. "Oh, The Exorcist was yeah. the most scariest thing." And you know what? She was fucking right. Yeah, for sure. Um. Okay. The, so. Oh, yeah, go. Yeah, one of the best horror movies of all time. Sure. Yes. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Uh, number 12 is Pennywise from It. And now I was just introduced to Pennywise when yeah. the first It came out, I don't know, year, a couple years ago. Yes. Um. So I get it. It's scary. It's not the most scariest to me. I don't know. It would also be in my top 10, and I'm going to tell you why. Mm. The old one used to scare the shit out of me when I was younger See, as well. I never saw the yeah. old one. It used to scare me. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I would go, I, I would put that at 10. It'd probably be 10 in so my you, top you 10. Would, you would Maybe actually, what is that, 12 10. right now? That's at 12. So That's not know. too bad. So yeah, Jigsaw at number 11. That's another one that I, I fucks with. Yeah, I fucks with And I really enjoy too. it. And you know, I'm not mad at it being at 11. No, I think that's a, a solid placement for it. Right? Yeah. I can't be mad at that one. For uh, some reason, I feel like once we hit the top 10, I'm going to start having a little bit of problems. Really? So n number 10 is um, Annie from misery yo the fact that they included her i yes. love that movie I love let that me tell pick. you something i love that pic i don't too. think it's necessarily horror is it really horror yes i do yeah right? no I, I give it a horror she's got i a, guess if you're gonna call vibe. it horror i fucking love her she would definitely be in my top 10 I fuck she's it. amazing she's scared i remember when i first watched movie. it it scared the shit out of me yeah it is like, a great can movie. you imagine she's a scary can bitch. you imagine when she hit the dude with the oh uh, my god his, Everything his legs she did. In the bed when she 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 put center blocks she, in between his legs. She wasn't fucking around. And then the sledgehammer, boom, broke his ankles. Number nine, Candyman. Candyman, I love Candyman. You like okay? Love I, Candyman. Not a big fan of Candyman. I remember Candyman. I didn't want to say that name in the mirror. Yeah, that was a big thing. I'm yeah. not even gonna say it right now. I'm gonna be honest with you though. I'm gonna <laughs> put if we're including Misery, I'm putting Misery above Candyman in my top ten. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. We're including I, her. I agree. Her I mean, awesome. that's not for everyone, but I agree. I love her. Um, okay, number eight, Norman Bates from Psycho. Yeah, absolutely. Not the biggest um, fan. I'm not the biggest Psycho fan, but I, I was in a Bates Motel. You ever saw a Bates Motel? Nah, show? it got weird when I found out he was like having sex with his mom. Yeah, something. that was real. Yeah, I'm good. it does get a little weird. I'm good. But that is kind of the Norman Bates like Psycho story storyline. I, I liked a couple seasons of the show. Eh, not in my top ten, though. This next pick, I thought was a great pick okay, and um it. i probably would have had it in my top five uh, that's uh hannibal lecter from silence of the lambs that's top five like, worthy. come on that's top five that worthy. movie the first one is awesome yeah, it's classic. kind of the spinoffs they did after yeah. that we're all um, you know all good they've done well yeah uh, original still the classic and i would absolutely put him in the top five he had like just he was extremely smart right he wasn't just scary but he was a very smart he, he was, was yeah, two was steps a, ahead playing everybody uh, I think you don't get a better villain than that, to be honest with you. Yeah. And Anthony Hopkins, I mean, you, you get you a can, legend bro. like that doing yeah. a villain like that. It's awesome. For sure. Um, number six, Jack Torrance from The Shining. Absolutely. I, I think that's right where it should yeah, be. Yeah, Jack Nicholson is, you know, one of his best performances for sure. That was amazing. And, I, you know, I watched that as I got older. Yeah, and so did I. I watched it like two years ago for the first time. And I was blown away. Yeah. And that little movie. sequel that came out was amazing. And as I well. haven't watched it. Uh, watch it's it. my guy, Obi Wan. Watch, it. Oh, watch it. McGregor. Number five, Leatherface, Texas Ch Yeah, the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So this is where it's not in my top five. I wouldn't put it in my top five. And the reason is because I just don't like those movies for some reason. It's so hillbilly ish. But the remake. Watch your mouth. The remake did. Uh, I did like the remake and it did scare me when I was younger. 
for sure. Yeah, I I like I like the remake and it was scary as shit. Yeah, remember that that little kid, Grandma. For sure, Grandma. There's some really good stuff in the remake. The original if to you me know, is you know. weird. It's just way too weird. The original is way too weird for me. And it's yeah, just, a little uh, high for me. It is just, but I'm with it. The like, let's just stick with it's the very character, gory, right? Very gory though. Like, the character is pretty fucking yeah, badass. Yeah. Uh, number four, and to me, see, like this would be like my number one, and it's Chucky. That is hilarious. number four was Chucky. Chucky Plus. should definitely be top five. Though, Haunted sure. me as a ch- as a kid. Yeah. I mean, I I used to have nightmares about it. I still remember those nightmares till yeah. this day. Be- the best shit talker in the game. My mom got a got me a doll. Yeah. Right, a child's play doll. Um, around the time it came out, opened it up in the car on the car ride home. She looked in her rear view mirror and she said, she saw that doll. She brought that shit right back to the stove. <laughs> That's how it was back then for, I don't know. Let's get the shit out of me. Yeah. I'm with you on that. I think a little uh, high or do you wait, what? a little high or no, I actually he think thought I said, are you high? Am I high? Cause I'm like, I am high. <laughs> uh, no, I think top five worthy. I think Chucky's top five worthy. Yeah. For sure. He's um, a legend. Yeah. The Say best shit talker want. in the game too. You can't tell me his one liners are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <Amazing>. bitch. <laughs> right, Charles Lee Ray. getting into the icons. For so sure. yeah, th- this top three, you know what? Even though Chucky's an icon, let me not do that to Chucky. Chucky is an icon. Horror but, icon. Horror but these are icon. more the staples of horror. Yes. Here we go. You know, let's get into uh, it. Number and three, Jason Voorhees. Friday the Thirteenth. I'm I'm okay. Obviously, I thought that's it number was three. Be high. Yeah, yeah. That's I thought it would be, it would this be high, top obviously. three. I would say for I sure. I don't think he's number one in my list, but some not people mine. might. You guys know who mine. Is. So you number got some is. hardcore fans, you know, that actually think yeah, yeah. that he is the scariest shit. So that's number three. I'm not mad at it. I mean, that's, I'm not mad that's at right it where it should be. I think it's perfect placement. It's kind of sucks that for me. I don't know. Like you really, it's been a while since you've seen a good Jason movie. Yes. A oh, while. right. It's been a times a ticking. Uh, number two, Freddy Krueger. I I right agree as well. Street. And one thing about yeah, it should be there. Yes, two and or three, like right there. That first movie when it came out in the eighties and just what he did, just as a as a horror icon. You just 80s didn't want to sleep. No. Yeah. You know, it, I mean, it it got kind of redundant after a while, but yeah. like just that premise, like he had great one scares liners. the shit out right? of you too. Yeah. He, he got he had great one liners. He was scary. He was a little funny, just like Chucky, and just had you know some of that good vibes. And the uh, same guy played him for all the movies. I believe, absolutely, so. yes, so that's yes, kind of yes. cool. Yep. And number one, no surprise here. I'm not mad at it. The goat, uh, Michael Myers. Yes, the first slasher. Well, not the first slasher. Technically, the first popular slasher because Texas Chainsaw came out before the original came out before this one. But the OG, the goat, the bat. Michael deserves is in his his right spot. Yeah, I got no problem with this. This was actually a good list. It's hard, um, especially when you get down to the bottom fifteen. Yes, it's. I think the top know. three would actually be my like probably, like my yeah. exact top three. And yeah. out of out of popularity as well. Yes. Where would you put Chucky in your top three? I don't know. I don't. I. I. I, 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 I yeah. I, 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 obviously, to me, Chucky's your, my number just one. Yours, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, that's your number one. Like that's, that's my cool. thing. Yeah, yeah, so, like, you sure. know what I mean? If it's me making this list, Chucky's my number list. one. Yes. And Chucky I'll, be your number one. Would be number two. Number two would probably be Michael Myers. Number three. You gonna go Jason or Freddy? Neither. Exorcist. Oh, look at you. That's, Spicy. That's, that's some how great I am. Shit. That's that is me. good. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. I already know you, Michael. Number one. Michael's number one. I'll go Michael number one. Um, I'm gonna go. What man, scares number two. you? Well, wait, wait. Is Ghostface not on here from Scream? Um, it wasn't in the top 15. I jumped from 50 to wow. down to the fifth top 15. So that is see. interesting, and I agree with Do you. You him. really think that was just like a, He shouldn't be in the top 20. That's just a good, like... He shouldn't be in the top 20. Yeah. I, eh. I wanna, I'm curious to see where, where the Scream Ghostface... Because if you think about it, he changes. The guy... I mean, the, the costume is the same, but the person changes in every movie. So Let's I, see. I think that should eliminate him, or is it not even on the list of the top fifty, Ray? It, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm I'm serious. Top 50, you would. By the way. Oh, let the leprechaun. That see, the leprechaun. The leprechaun would go yeah, like, maybe in my top fifteen. Hit that shit. Bro. I'm telling you, leprechaun used to like scare the shit baby. out of me. That's eighties baby shit. Oh my god, seeing that like uh, the leprechaun from the hood. Yeah. Oh my god. Us is on there and scream, yo! Twenty four, the yeah. creatures, shark from Jaws, and the shark from Jaws. Think about that. That's a horror film. Alien. That's an amazing movie, by the way. Yeah, they're not on this list. They, they, guys, they're not on this list. Ghostface is not on the list. That's or awesome. the guy from um, I know you did last summer. Wow. With the hook. See, those weren't 
they were what they were. Yes. They were exactly of, who we thought they were. Of their time, for sure. Oh, wait, I never get my top three. So my top three would be, obviously, uh, Michael Myers. I'm going to go Hannibal Lecter. Okay. And then I'll go, it's either between Freddy or Jay. I'm going to go Freddy. Okay. I'm, go Freddy. I'm with you. I, don't, I ain't mad at it. Like I said, I ain't mad at it. Yep. And then after that, I'm going to put uh, the, uh, with the the girl from... Uh, What's the movie called again? Carrie? No, nah, Mercy. The not, not Mercy. Uh, misery. Misery. Sorry. Yes, the lady from Misery would round out my top you four. You can't just say lady from Misery. I, you gotta I put love some her. respect on her. And then her Jason name. in there. That's my top Annie. five. Annie. Annie. Annie, and then Jason. Four and five. Mm. Boom. Okay, I'm not mad at you. I'm with you. you know what I'm saying. I fuck with it. Shout out to Collider. Yeah, for sure. I thought it was a great list. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And until next time, guys. See ya.